or split each week's hit and split. Hey Hawks, it's Sophia and Hillary back to bring you this week's news. Hillary, I really love your outfit today. It's really giving 1989 by Taylor Swift. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, let's see what songs go with your guys' outfits. Hey Hawks, you're back with Aspen and Augusta. And today, we bring to you the second edition of What Song Is Your Fit? Hey Hawks, we're back with Matthew. Matthew, what song best describes your outfit today? Clearly, Last Caress by the Misfits. Thank you. Hey Hawks, I'm here back with Henry. Okay, Henry, if you could choose one song to describe your outfit, what would that song be? Smooth Operator. I love that song. Thank you so much. Mr. Schwartz. <laughs> Mr. Schwartz, what song best describes your outfit today? Style by Taylor Swift. Woo! I'm back with Mickey and Oreo. Mickey and Oreo, let's hear a song that matches your outfit to a T. Mainly because the sweater I'm wearing is $400, I would say Lose Yourself by Eminem. Thank you. Eight by Medium Size Monster. Kieran Anderson. <laughs> what song best describes your outfit? I think our school's fight song, The Red and the Black, best describes my outfit. Ooh, can you sing that for us? Absolutely. One, two, three, pop up. And it keeps going. So that was wonderful. I'm back with Samaya. Lucian. If you could choose a song that best describes your outfit, what would it be? It's Beat 16 by Hilary Da. Um, I don't think any song. Oh, thank you. You guys had some pretty cool outfits. Hillary, the ACT is coming up and I honestly do not feel prepared at all. Well, that's okay. You still have time to practice. Really? Yeah, let's go learn more about the practice ACT. Just not like you're eating. What did you get on your ACT? A four? Bro, did you even study? You could study? Of course you could. I got a 33 because I took the practice tests. Okay, I definitely feel a little bit more prepared now. Yeah, me too. Hillary, what's the theme for trivia this week? I'm not sure. Me neither. Let's go watch trivia with Truman and Griffin to find out. What's up, Hawks? It's Griffin. And Truman. And we're back with Hawk Trivia Boomer Edition. Let's see if these boomers can answer some Gen Z questions. All right, we're here with the boomer. Miss Chilton. Miss Vidmar. Mr. Schwartz, not a boomer. All right, first question. Define one of these three terms. Skibbity toilet, sigma male, phantom tax. <laughs> sigma is a kind of camera lens. What was the sigma one, sigma, sigma male? Sigma male. It's like an alpha male, that's what I'm guessing. Close. Yeah, like uh, that guy over there. All right, we'll accept that. Did he point at me? Yes, he did. Yeah. That is correct. <laughs> I don't know any of those words. Do you want to phone a friend? I might need to phone a friend. Sigma male is a person who focuses on themselves and wants to better themselves. That is correct. Good job, Miss Chilton. I literally know none of them. I'm you, not a boomer. All right, next question. You get that one wrong. <sighs> Name a water bottle brand popularized by Gen Z. Stanley. Hydro Flask. Stanley. That is correct. All right, final question. If you get this right, you win. Demonstrate proper mewing technique. What's a mew? Mew. 
I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bonus question. <laughs> no. Is my job in the good? <laughs> all right. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll all take right, that. Well, all right. Final question. That one was iffy, but we'll go to the final question. All right. Can you finish the lyric to this popular song by Imagine Dragons called Radioactive? <laughs> Sing it with me, Griffin. All right. I'm waking up to ash and dust. I wipe my brow and I sweat my rust. I'm breathing in the chemicals. You're so welcome. I mean, yeah, basically. You win. I'm breathing out the something. Let me give you one more chance. It's a sound effect. Ow. <laughs> All right. He loses. I don't know. Okay. Miss Chilton loses. Great job on trivia, guys. Yeah, guess what time it is. What time? It's time for Meet the Leaders. Oh, who's it with this week? The girls' basketball team. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look at that. Hey Hawks, welcome back to Meet the Leaders. Today I'm joined by your girls basketball team captains. I'm Sarah Jones. I'm Ava Epler. I'm Mel Kelzer. And today we're going to be playing a little Would You Rather. But before we get into that, I want to comment on how you guys won against Belgrade, got close against Senior, was it? Yes. yes. Right. And then you guys had your senior night also a couple weeks ago. How does it feel to be a graduating captain and senior of the basketball program here? It's kind of bittersweet. Four years of basketball and it's like, it's over, basically. You know, obviously we have division one state, but like our home games, or like our in-season games are over. I think it's pretty like, I don't know, I feel like accomplished, but I mean, it's sad. Well, I got hurt on senior night, right. and so my season came to an even faster end. So I would say that is probably the hardest part about it, is that I didn't even get to finish through, and I wasn't like prepared to, for it to be over so fast. But I would say it's a big difference of being like the freshmen who like look up and see all the senior captains and seeing the senior like basketball team and not to be that person. It's a weird feeling. Totally. First question, would you rather win MVP or win a team championship? Mm, team, cha team championship. Yeah, totally. <laughs> More of yeah. the team games. Oh, yeah. Okay, would you rather have a long but average career or a short but great career? Mm. Short but great career. Yeah, yeah great probably. Short, great. Yeah. yeah. Would you rather go to space or the bottom of the ocean? Uh, uh, definitely not, not the ocean. Not the ocean. Not the ocean. Not the ocean. See, I think being at the moon would be way cooler. There's too many things in the ocean. Yeah. It's true. And I think it's dark. Like, it's yeah. Dark. I guess space is dark. Too. Also, like, I feel like you couldn't get out of the ocean. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> like, like you're deep down in the bottom. It's true. And there's no light down there. Yeah. Would you rather be locked in a room full of snakes or full of spiders? Snakes. Oh, oh. <laughs> actually, it doesn't depend on the snakes. A spider's I feel like easier to kill. kill. I feel like it's easier to kill. kill. Yes, spiders. So spiders. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, Hawks, and we'll catch you next time. See you later, guys. <laughs> Peace. Are we, we are the are we leaders. <laughs> we You're Hawk leaders. Both been Hawks for life, y'all. <laughs> Great job on your season, girls. Sophia, do you do any sports? Not really. Well, do you know who's actually pretty good at sports? Finn. Finn. Let's go watch Finn does sports. What a do Hawk crew, I'm Finn and this is Finn Does Sports where I go head to head against varsity athletes in their respective sports. Today, I'll be going against Kellen Harrison in varsity basketball. I'll give her brain fry, my lady papa zany, I don't lady poppy molly, why she waiting on me? Yogi in my area, yogi in my area. Yeah, sure, man. I don't know, like I'm Bango, cutting my hair. I just keep going though, so she's gonna make my fly non-stop Kelly is in New York, put him with a hot bun Drive out and riding cars, honey berry Oh, wow, wow, wow,
never sleep on me. I saw my chains to get Oh. <laughs> Great job, Finn. Thank you for having us for news this week. It's been Hillary and Sophia out. Abby, what's the matter? Because I don't have a prom dress and I'm running out of time. Don't worry, Abby. I know exactly how we can fix this. BHS will be hosting a prom dress sale on March 2nd from 9 to 12. You can pay a price like $10 for a stunning dress. There's going to be many options, so make sure you show up. Also, if you're looking to donate any formal wear for prom, you can bring it to the front office and Miss Chilton will come pick it up. Bring your friends, guys. It's going to be amazing. Uh, and we'll see you there. And there's free raffle tickets for everyone that comes. For prizes like prom hair appointment, manicure gift card, and dinner gift cards. We're back with another week of sports news with yours truly, Evan, Ago, and Rowan, and let's get into it. Last week, the men's basketball team had a successful senior night against Belgrade, winning 52 to 37. Good job, boys. Good luck. Let's go. Let's go. Our girls' basketball team played Billing Senior last Saturday, and they lost 36 to 29. Our girls' and boys' basketball teams are in Billings this week for divisionals. They're playing right now, so wish them luck. Go, go get go. it. Go get it, guys. For our basketball team's first games in divisionals, the boys played Great Falls yesterday, and the girls played West yesterday. Here is some news on our upcoming spring sports. Tennis, track and field, and softball tryouts slash practices all start the week after spring break. One more thing, Hawks. Shout to Kaylin Cart for breaking the scoring record for women's basketball. Yeah. 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 That's it for this week's sports news. Yours truly, Evan Ogden and Rowan, and we're out. Hey, Hawks, it's Dayton with your weather forecast. It's currently 39 degrees with 14 mile an hour winds to the southeast. Here's Maggie with more information. Thank you, Dana. Hawk spring has officially sprung. Emmeline? Hawk TV, out.